Again, you want to get a nice smooth lay of fabric. A bunch of wrinkles in it, they'll tend to show through. You can see there we have a nice smooth lay around that little piece of tubing. Now, what we've got left is this little run right here. Again, here we're going to get fairly aggressive with some heat. Let that start pulling that right up around that real nice tight radius there. Because we're going to be coming up around this junction. So we'll go ahead again down into here with our scissors as well as we can. The doggone elevator horns right in the way there. Go ahead and cut that. Now again we can put a little tension. Pull the fabric up into place here. And again, pull the wrinkles out around the radius of the corner. You can see how you can pop that loose. Now, we kind of hit that with the iron. One area we haven't ironed yet. Remember, this is just rubbed in by hand. You can see how well that's actually staying put. We've got a panel of fabric here that's in place, but it's not glued yet. So what we're going to do now, we don't want this moving on us when we apply the wet glue. So what we do, we come right around the inside of the radius here and we make a nice pass with the iron. You see a little bit of a glue line forming behind it. That's from the heat of the iron. And that actually is clamping this fabric in place. That takes place of any fabric clamps. Alright, it's all packed in place. What we're ready now for is to actually glue the fabric down. One thing we need is our paper towel. We're going to be wiping surplus glue off. And of course we need our glue. And to do our final glue on this, very simple, we've got it where we want it. Actually take our glue and just brush it right down through the fabric, pretty much where you had pre-glued prior to uh, laying the fabric in place. So you can see that glue penetrates that fabric quite well. You can see a little change of color there. You do this come right on over here. And then while that glue is still aggressively wet, we're going to wipe this surplus right off of that. We don't want to leave a bunch of glue lines and glue ridges that can show through the finished product. Okay. We'll just continue on around. Main thing is that you don't overbrush your glue. In other words, don't get too far ahead of yourself. You always need to be able to stop gluing, leave yourself time to wipe the surplus off while it's still real wet. Notice how I'm letting the glue come out onto the frayed edge out here in the edge. What you're going to find now when we trim this, we've got some pre-glued fabric there. It's going to cut very nicely without any frayed edges showing. And since it's already glued, if there's any glue past our cut line, when we iron that down, it's going to instantly bond to the substrate <coughs> underneath it. Makes a real nice internal finished edge that way. Just put it on and wipe it off. And really, we're not wiping off all of the glue. What we're doing on a lot of this, we're actually forcing it down through the pores of the fabric onto the tubing and enhances the bond of the glue joint there to the structure. And brush it on the inside a little bit. Okay, again, or it has a chance to start to dry on you. 
Now I'll just wipe that surplus off. Okay. I'll come underneath. Make sure you didn't get some drooling and running underneath. It's going to leave a problem for you. Now once this is on, we'll let this glue dry. It's going to take it about, probably in this temperature here, we've got about 15 minutes. We can go ahead and put our shrink on. We're about 70 degrees in here right now. Maybe a little cooler than that. Once it's on and shrunk, then we'll go ahead and prep it for the fabric panel on the opposite side. Okay, we're uh, fabrics had a chance. The glue's dried on here somewhat. Still a little green, but it's, we can go ahead and work it. We started trimming along the inside edge here. What we'll do, we're using a pair of scissors. We'll going to be very careful to use a razor. It's very easy to go through on this little narrow tubing and actually cut your fabric on the back side. So you'll be very careful with that. A little set of scissors like this are really a good safe way to do it. And again, that little surplus of glue went out on the edge. You can see it leaves us a nice clean finished line on that. Once we're done, we'll give that a rub down into the tube and hit it with our small iron and that'll finish this joint off here. Okay, and take the iron what I like to do then is just hit that edge right there where the scissor ran. You can see it leaves a nice finished edge. So we're just going to go ahead and go around the perimeter of this. And then we'll get the iron and we'll go through the first shrink. The other thing you want to watch, and a lot of times I'll fail to do it, forget. I did brush a little glue on the back side of the hinge here. We've got that tacked into the iron. I'm not going to add any glue to that. I want to show you what the results are when we iron this. I think you're going to find that this fabric is going to just pretty well stay put right there. Alright, what we're going to do now, we'll get our big iron. We're going to set that to uh, 250 degrees. We're going to put the initial shrink on this and then we'll demonstrate how to mark this and how to lay it out for the second lay of fabric which would be actually the top surface. We're looking at the bottom here right now. Okay, we're ready to put our first ironing on this. On the blanket method, once the bottom surface is on, or the top surface, whichever you start with, I always go to 250 degrees, the first light shrink, before the second surface is glued down. We use a heavy sole, um, this old uh, steam iron here. That's set to 250. You want to keep a uniform shrink and do a start toward the center area of the structure. And I like to start over rib if possible. Get the preliminary shrink started. You want to kind of stagger the shrink pattern so you can keep the shrinkage as uniform. Okay. Now we've got the tension pretty well up. We're going to go over it one more time here. Get to 250, just kind of get it stabilized at this temperature. Okay, it's got it ironed. Now what I will do, I'm going to go on the other side here, and I'm going to iron this just a little bit. I want to get the, the slack out of that fabric. You can see where we didn't glue back to the tube here. I wanted to show you the difference. Here's where we started the gluing and we wrapped the glue all the way back. You can see how the fabric tended to dimple in between that. It's not going to hurt because our next layer of fabric is going to bridge that anyway. It's not necessary to over glue it like that. Okay, that'll do it. 